Welcome back to Vegas Live with Nina. I have Stephen Krasner with me. And of course, um, he was on my show before. He's a producer. He's a writer. He's everything that Vegas wants because Vegas is actually getting very, very deep into the film business, into the... Uh, they're changing a little bit, aren't they? Yeah. It's, it's becoming a little bit more broader mm -hmm. rather than just entertainers and music people, though we still have those in an abundance of them in the city, don't we? Mm -hmm. How do they all get work? I don't know. I think a lot of people just start doing their own uh, content, making their own content. They that, do, don't they? Yeah, they stop waiting for other people to give them opportunity. They just make their own opportunities. So they make their own opportunities, and they're doing that through through Zoom and through through you know internet TV. I mean, I don't know why they had this epidemic, and I believe it was to get us all on the yeah. internet because that's what happened, right? Yeah, everyone's just on. The, their own uh, social media, their own websites, their everything. All, yeah. And how did it affect? You're a producer, mm -hmm. uh, and you've um, that's fine. What have you been? What have you been up? Let's see what Steve's been up to. Um, I'm a homebody, so this quarantine didn't really affect my schedule so much. But, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it didn't really affect me. But uh, no, um, the last time I was here, I was to, uh, promoting my other movie, my first movie, Class Acts. Yes. Which since the since last time, it has gotten distribution by X by Green Apple Entertainment. Oh, and how it, wonderful. And it's on Xfinity and RCN, if you have those. Uh, Did you make that happen? I, uh, yeah, my well, higher sales rep, and they found uh, Green Apple Entertainment. They were interested in uh, buying it, so they did. How wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. You know, that has to be the thrill. You know, when you put something together, you make it, you do it, and everything else, and then somebody wants it. It's like, oh. I know. So, um, and yeah, and then we were just like, let's just do another one. Let's make another one. So the last time I was on your show, I was talking yes. about making uh, uh, another high school movie. Yes. Where it would be like a fun, uh, fun but irresponsible teacher has to teach a, a summer school class. Um, and now we're doing it. So Are you doing it now? Yeah. So we launched the, the Indiegogo, which is a, uh, it's a crowdfunding website. And now it's uh, on uh, Indiegogo and we just launched it. So yeah, if you're out there. Yeah, please uh, go look up. Uh, it's called Substitute. Substitute. Go and look up Substitute on Indiegogo. Indiegogo, yeah. And uh, you're looking for money for funding for it, correct? Yep, we need to raise funds for um, cast and crew and uh, production, so yeah. Now, how does that exactly work? With your last film, did you do the same thing? We did the same thing. Um, we tried to learn a little bit about any uh, crowdfunding, and we raised a good amount of money on crowdfunding and it's great because you really you just putting your project out there and a lot of people could see it and they've wanted they donate. And they, they want to donate to it and they want to help you and they want to see that see you grow mm -hmm. were you surprised of how much how many people sort of responded to it were you surprised yeah you know you're always you're always surprised because uh, the world works in mysterious ways so you does, tell me. <laughs> a lot of people you think wouldn't invest invested yes. and a lot of people you think would wouldn't so you don't well you you can't judge a book by its cover because you just don't know mm -hmm. you don't know what that other person has in mind or what they're thinking or maybe they went through the same thing when they were younger and now they want to help somebody that's young and you know that that's out there and wants all this thing so how's it going with this new movie it's great i wrote it um based a little bit of my own experiences uh as a, as a teacher and uh based were you a teacher I was a substitute teacher. I was a teacher's assistant and a substitute teacher. Uh, where in Vegas or in Vegas? Yeah, in yeah. Vegas. And um, once, yeah, once the quarantine happened, I just had a lot of time to write. So, so you've been writing a lot of Which time at great. home writing. Yeah. Which is great. So, where do you get your idea? Do you get your ideas from like personal experiences and things that have happened out there? Yeah, I think so, and I definitely try to make it funny. Try to put a funny spin on it, especially yeah. now during times where you I know. I think people want to laugh. People want to laugh. Yeah. yeah. I think so, people people definitely want to. laugh. It's funny you should say people want to laugh. I, I was watching a movie accidentally last night, and actually my brother just passed away, and um, and it was all about this dog called Hatch. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody knows that movie. Well, I ended up sitting on the sofa crying and crying and crying. It was it was not a movie to watch at this particular time, but it was a great movie. A fabulous about a dog. It was a fabulous movie. So I get all these different ideas, and it was a true story, by the way. Um, but all these ideas, you know, they really come out of true, true experiences, but you add a little bit to it. Mm -hmm. Is that how it's... Yeah, is we try to make it a little uh, theatrical and... Um a little over the top. A little, yeah. So, but yeah, it's just a, a fun high school movie. And, uh, and how long is the movie? Is it a short or is it a, a It's movie? a full feature. It's about, the script is about 100 pages. Yeah. So it'll be a full feature. We're filming it here in Las Vegas and we're looking for great people to come on board, uh, whether it's in front of the camera or behind the camera. So behind the scenes or in front of the scenes or acting or not acting or just, and you know, 
did you do you find from the last one you you did you find now that there's more film work going on in Vegas is it getting bigger here yeah absolutely especially now since everyone's anxious to go back to work yes. and just go back to normal uh, a lot of people are filming and uh, they're anxious to just get out there and get their projects done. Absolutely. And I think now, um, I think Vegas is fully open now, isn't it? There's no mask, no nothing. We're just, we've all been, le we've been let out of our cages. <laughs> exactly. Let's go back to normal. <laughs> so we're, we're back to whatever normal is going to be anymore. At, you're very young. So what do you think is going to happen now? Is this the whole thing, a year and a half, roughly? And it's changed a lot of minds. But the older people are kind of more set in their ways and, you know, they get disrupted. But the younger generation, what advantage have they taken of this? I think they're very good young people at taking, uh, making their own content and using it to just self-promote and get their, get their work out there instead of just waiting for somebody or, you know, packing up and moving somewhere they're anxious they, they're able to make their own content now and get their so they've you know. taken advantage of the point but they've taken advantage of how they can utilize what happened by i'm not gonna say we were all locked at home but we were sort of and so they've taken advantage of the internet and zoom and all these there's so many different platforms out there now aren't mm -hmm. there yeah you got social media instagram tiktok Snapchat, all these Could stuff. you ever make a, well, I'm, I, I can answer the question myself. Of course you can. I was going to say, could you make a movie like you've just written and everything strictly on the internet? Could, could that be done or is that Ooh, more sure of an animated it, thing to do? I'm sure it could be done by someone much smarter than me. I, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just, yeah. You're smart. I see a lot of stuff, but I, yeah, no, I, uh, I, I see a lot of the young people just making just, just, incredible and content on on social media and TikTok, and i couldn't do that and they have you know millions of followers yes i often it, wonder amazing. how that happens yeah i'm not sure it's amazing it's, they, they get these ideas and you look at it and say well i could have done that it's always yeah. i could have done that but you didn't <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, the, 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 exactly. that's the little hitch in it that you didn't do it mm. but at the same time so it's getting people to sort of really kind of think of that uh, think on their own with their computer because the computer has given you so many different instruments. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you do, you obviously do a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. How has it helped you? I definitely, um, I definitely love writing. I wrote this script. I had no plans to originally uh, make one, but I said, let me, uh, let me start writing. And then I wrote it. I've uh, met some great people that we're going to, we're going to get us started here in Vegas. So I'm going to write it, direct it. I'm going to start in it once again. And, uh, we're just, we're just going to edit it and put it out there. And just put it out there. Yeah. And is this, would this be for across the boards or more for the younger generation? Probably. Um, we try to make it a little bit of both. We try yeah. to make it something that the, the young people will enjoy, but also the older generation would, would like. Like you if know? the family were there, they yeah. could all watch it together and yeah, say, exactly. oh, I remember that happening when I was a kid. Yeah, exactly. Things like that mm -hmm. so that they can relate Re to very it. Very relatable. And then also the younger generation could see what you did and say, oh, hey, I could do that too. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And it's it's such a, uh, that's why I love comedy because it's so relatable. Everyone can relate. So where did you get the comedy from? Um, I've always been of, uh, I think I've had a good sense of humor with writing, but I definitely, I definitely watch a lot of comedies before I start writing just to get it, get to, in the to funny get mood. In, to yeah, get into yeah, the funny exactly. Mood. That's funny because I'm a sonnet writer and I write a lot of romantic um, sort of sonnets that are very touchy feely. And you, you're right. You, you got to get in the mood. <laughs> you got to get in. The, well, usually mine's about twelve o'clock at night, so I'm a little bit right. in the mood then. Then I put this certain music on. And then that really gets you into the mood and you start thinking and, you know, fantasizing or whatever you're doing, you know. But it does help you, doesn't it? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. So there's all these different ways to get in there. What would your advice would you give to anybody that's kind of in your where you are to, to continue and to help them? Uh, I always tell people just don't give up and always try to find a way to um, express yourself creatively. Yes. In a positive way. As long as you can find a way to express yourself, you're, yeah. you're happy. Are you married? No. You're no. not? No. He's, I, I don't know if you're lucky because you're eventually going to get married, of yeah, course. Are you dating yes. someone? No, not right you're now. Not dating. He's not a good looking guy. Not dating. Hey, girl. Right I know. Now. That's what I say, right? Like, yeah, good looking guy with a sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> he's a writer and a sense of humor, makes movies, so he fantasizes a lot. So you, you're a pretty good package. That's what I said. That's you what I've been telling people. Tell <laughs> well, tell me, tell them. <laughs> Stop telling them. Yeah. He's a good package. So come on, guys, girls, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. But um, brothers and sisters? I have one brother who's uh, yeah married with five girls. 
So, oh my good, you're definitely lagging behind. Yeah, I know. I got to catch up, and then I have a sister, older sister. Yeah, oh, yeah. how wonderful! That's mm -hmm. wonderful. Now, do they all give you support for what you're doing? And uh, are they all in Vegas, or just you in Vegas? Uh, my brother's in Vegas. My sister's in Miami. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and it definitely is just mom and dad. Mom and dad, yeah, they live here in Vegas. Oh, wonderful. So it's always, uh, yeah, they always give me support and uh, uh, always give me material to write something funny. So, you know. So does your dad have a sense of humor? Sounds like yeah, it. Yeah, very Sounds... much, yeah. <laughs> I like that because he can start feeding yeah. you differently. Oh, He's dad, like, like uh, Larry David and Archie Bunker had a, had a child. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Archie Bunker, yeah. remember? Wow, you remember those? those? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, young people don't know who that is. No, they yeah. don't. But you know. <laughs> yeah. Because but yeah, I, I said my family's like if you ever watch the show, everybody loves Raymond. Yeah, oh, that's that, how that they are. Another, that, I'll play that. Yeah, that's so you a, come from a good family that supports you and helps you and sort of gives you ideas and everything else, but at the same time giving you space to do your own thing. Right, and especially during this time where you know it's easy to um, get discouraged and and just uh, lack uh, in, um, inspiration, but in this time. Uh, just I'm focusing on making another movie and we're trying Absolutely. to make it and uh, get a lot of work for Vegas people to do you think that what has gone on all over the world us being older we can understand a little bit of it but the younger generation what do you think has been their reaction of the whole world closing down and people in their homes it must be very strange for them yeah especially you see a lot of little kids wearing masks and yeah. they're getting normal so but I think we'll bounce back uh, do you think they'll do you, do you think they've understood it do you th what do you think they learned out of it I think uh, they're smart, and they, I think kids are smart, and they definitely understand. Yeah. That, but I think uh, we're, we're very resilient, and now that everything's going back up, hopefully we can go back to normal. What you just said, he said, very resilient, and children are resilient. Mm -hmm. They 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 take the punches. They yeah. take the good. They take the bad because they're learning. They're growing up, and they're learning. So mm -hmm. you know. So um, how can anybody reach you, and how can they get to you to to fund it? And all? Yeah. So I am making. Uh, it's called Substitute. It, we the Kickstarter. And an Indiegogo, um, and our Indiegogo is a substitute, and we are on social media, Instagram, Facebook, under Stephen Krasner. Um, we're filming, I'm filming, I'm using a great company called Quantum Arc Media, and if you need to get in touch with them, they're on Google. So, yeah, we're on there. Absolutely. Amazing guest. And um, what I love about the younger generation, they got this enthusiasm, but they also know where to go, all the channels to go to, to raise money and also um, how to make a movie and all, all put a little bit of fun into it. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you, everybody out there for supporting Vegas Live with Ninon, because without you, nothing happens. That's my favorite thing. Um, don't forget to go to YouTube and to subscribe and also to thank uh, Quirky Minds Media. Um, in Las Vegas, their studio for us um, being able to film a, a, a show here. Um, James Kelly is amazing. We will be right back soon. You take care. Bye bye. Let's be honest. What are we going to do if we don't get into college? We don't have any rep. Ooh, what do you mean? It means we can't get girls. Everybody say hi to Daniel. We're going to my father's church. You guys can come if you want. It's a gold mine. All these chicks are so hot. You're trying to bang them, aren't you? Yes, yes, I am. Very clever. I know, right? <sighs> you guys are such delinquents. If I find you guys doing one more prank on school grounds, you're getting suspended. This school has been screwing us over for years, and now they're just going to kick us to the curb. You know what? I'm going to write a statement, and I'm going to take your dolls that you've been hiding in your desk. Now we've got to go all out on this guy. If you enjoyed the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Ninon on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon.